Thanks for watching our series, and welcome to the Adobe Admin Console video on creating and managing packages, deploying updates, and troubleshooting installation errors. In this video, we will discuss how to create and manage packages and updates, along with how to resolve installation failures. Packages are created in the Admin Console, allowing admins to deploy software to users through a preferred deployment method. When you navigate to the Packages tab, you're prompted to either create a self-service or a managed package. A self-service package will generate the Creative Cloud desktop application that you can provide to your users who have admin rights to their machines so they can install and update applications on their own. Creating a managed package gives administrators more control over what is included and walks you through a wizard where you first choose the operating system and then add applications, including older versions if needed. Next, you add compatible plugins and enable management options such as self-service install and allowing non-admins to install and update applications along with utilizing available update functionalities. Once the package details are summarized for review, you will enter a name for the package and click Build Package. After the package finishes building, choose a location on your computer to save the package. Created packages are stored on Adobe's server for three days, after which the download link will expire. Previous packages remain listed on the page for you to view the status that displays if the package is still up to date, or if newer versions have been made available since the package was created. Admins can manage updates in a variety of ways. One way to check for updates is to use the Creative Cloud desktop application, which will display when there is an update available for the end users to update the applications. A second option is to view the Packages tab, where the package status will report if the software has been updated since the package was built. Here, you can click on the already created package to build an update-only package to deploy to your users. While we are here, another method to update packages is to go to the Tools section of the Packages tab, where you can download the Remote Update Manager utility. This allows an admin to remotely invoke the updater on an end user's computer. You can update all applications or just selected ones, and you can choose to list what is available for the client or to download and cache the updates to be installed, perhaps after a restart. It is possible to host your own on-premise update server. Using the Adobe Update Server Setup tool, you can sync your own web server with Adobe's. This allows an admin to host all updates on-premise. To install the updates, you can either use the Remote Update Manager from your update server on demand, or you can have your end users update it themselves. The end user can install the updates via self-service with the Creative Cloud desktop application. Okay, one more option. You can track updates via the Preferences section of the Packages tab, where you can choose to be notified when Creative Cloud application updates are available. Linked to this video are guides describing how to create and deploy packages and updates, how to fix installation failures when minimum system requirements aren't met, and how to troubleshoot other installation issues.